conceived miraculously in the womb of Mary and that he was the son of Mary but they would not acknowledge that he was the son of God hello son of God but if he was not God our very God in the flesh then I'd like to know who that was came out of the grave when no man has ever raised himself from the grave. Not from Adam to this day. Can testify a claim that they died and came back and showed themselves among many men for many days. He proved that he was God in the flesh with many infallible proofs. So I give him the glory and the honor. The only begotten Son of God, Jesus of Nazareth, Yahshua the Messiah. Saints of God, I want to read to you before we get started tonight. Uh, something that you know has been dear to my heart for some time now. I've been telling y'all that the ministry supports the voice of mothers. And uh, I want to read this to you just a small. I give y'all a little flower. You can read some of the testimonies, stuff coming out. Kind of take y'all with you. But I want to read this one. It said, speaking about some someone in the book. I just go read it. After traveling to a large Indian city, recently to study God's word for several days, a group of young Christians returned to their predominantly Muslim village, emboldened in their Christian faith. The youth, all of whom were related as either siblings or cousins, had come to know Jesus Christ through the witness of older relatives. After studying God's word, this is an Indian now, y'all. After studying God's word, something impossible for many of their parents who cannot read, they learned firsthand the call for following Christ in their Muslim community. But when everything seemed hopeless, the Holy Spirit led them and others to boldly stand for Jesus. False accusations they uh, make fall uh, subtitle. While the youth were away for Bible tr training, neighbors questioned their parents about where the children had gone. Soon various rumors began to spread through the community, including allegations of sexual abuse that made their way to the ear of Islamists. And a small minority in the area, Christians must keep their faith secret. Believers often hide their Bibles, understanding that their discovery by Muslim neighbors could result in violence. We know people from this community who have had their house burned down, been beaten, been kicked out of their home, 
and kicked out of their family, said Ara, a frontline worker. When the youth returned to the village, local Islamists interrogated them. Following up on villagers of the accusation that had been taken to the city for deviant sexual purposes, the entire community shunned the girls in the group, and their parents grew concerned. One girl's father, a known follower of Christ, feared that the girl might be taken from them permanently or even killed. In conservative Muslim communities, or you know what I'm saying, family members are often sometimes, family members often sometimes commit honor killing of individuals considered them in sexual disgrace. When pressured by the Islamists, the Christian man, Ali grabbed a micro SD card and handed it to one of the Islamists. This is what it is all about, Ali said. In other words, this is what the children were doing, Ali said. This is why they left. The Islamists took the SD card and reviewed its content, expecting to find pornography, but instead he heard the gospel. This isn't so bad, another Islamist said. It's about Issa, Jesus. Encouraged by the reaction, Ali felt emboldened to preach to the radicals. In that moment, he felt the spirit and nerves to proclaim Christ. Repent and come out of darkness, he told the radicals and village elders who had gathered. Then realizing the message on SD card was talking about Jesus Christ of the Bible instead of the prophet Isa, mm -hmm. they're the same. Isa in the Quran is actually talking about Jesus, the Christ. Mm -hmm. They just didn't believe that he was the Messiah, he was yeah. the Son of God. Mm -hmm. But it's the same person. Mm -hmm. But they suspected the way we talk, the way we preach Jesus, mm -hmm. that we're not talking about the same one because they don't want to believe because we say Jesus was and is yeah. the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Islamists are not wrong about the way he came. Though. They are wrong about who he was. Of who he is, not what it is. So, so the Quran Islamists grew angry, determined to convert all of the Christian youth to Islam. They took them to a boarding school on their compound. Did y'all hear that? They would take the kids and convert them to Islam. Isn't that what's happening in America right now? Yeah. They allow these Islamists to go into schools and train and teach these kids about Islam, but won't let us go in and teach them about Christ. Oh, yeah. if, if, if you're separating the church and religion, a religion and state, that means any religion. Yeah, that's right. Not just the Christian religion. That's any religion. Are y'all hearing me? So when people violate the Constitution to allow another religion to come in, then we realize that it's hatred against Christianity. Mm -hmm. Not hatred against religion, period. It's hatred against Christianity. So their hatred is not against religion, it's against Jesus the Christ. Amen. So it is no longer a constitutional law thing, it has now become a personal thing. So they cannot use the law of the land to back up what they say. But Christians have bowed down to it and allowed this when they got the evidence they allowed this one to be taught in the school system. Amen. But they should be using that same premise that they're allowing the Islam come in to go back in the school system yeah. and teach Christ. Amen. I start to go somewhere, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you about that later. So while some of the youth were released or went into hiding, several girls were detained at the school for more than a month. A month hmm. of interrogation and brainwashing. If we did that to an Islamist, hmm. they would knock our doors down, drag us out of our house, and cut our heads off. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that amazing that Westerners will justify Islam even when Islam is violent. Jesus told us this would happen. A father of two of the girls said, referring to Matthew 10, he told us he is sending us out like sheep among wolves. Yeah. This persecution will happen and he will be with us. So we got to reach the point where we are willing to share the gospel and stop being ashamed. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. They want us to cow behind four walls Keep our faith to ourselves, mm -hmm. but I'll allow other religions to be spoken openly, hello, and publicly. That's it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Many are being sanctioned right now, and I may end up being sanctioned on these social medias because of speaking out against wrong. Yes. 
Now, if, you, if they become totally political, then I, I have no problem with them saying, well, we need sanction. But if they, they speak in the truth, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Hello. Man. I don't care which one it is. If they're wrong, they're wrong. Amen. If it's a red or the blue, if they're wrong, they're wrong. Yeah. Right. Whatever color, green or whatever. Mm -hmm. If they're wrong, they're wrong. Mm -hmm. But we stand for righteousness, mm -hmm. holiness, and truth. Yeah. But yet we find there's so many people that can't make a distinction between that. And so they are the ones that really causing, uh, uh, empowering, and, and arming, equipping our enemy to fight us. But they think that the true Christians mm -hmm. are just like them. Yeah. No, we're not like that. We're not radicalized. Thank you. We talk about what we believe, we share what we believe, and we speak it openly, and we speak it courageously. Amen. But if a person don't want it, we move on. Amen. Right. You don't try to drag them into no setting and and force them to accept what we believe. Because they don't want it, we move on. Amen. Whosoever will, Amen. let him come. But yet, when you find those radicalized people out there trying to force their religion down people's throat, then we realize that is religion. Amen. Jesus will not save no one against their will. No. He said, whosoever will let him come. If he don't want to follow me, he said, any man desire to come after me. Desire to come after me. Didn't anyone say that? He ain't go out and tell him, you don't follow me, I'm going to kill you. No. The mother folk do that. Mm -hmm. If you don't follow them, they're going to cut your head off. Mm -hmm. If your village don't convert, if your church don't convert, they cut your head off. Amen. But we move on. Y'all keep giving, keep watching, worshiping who you want to worship, mm -hmm. and we go. Amen. Yeah, that's your choice. <laughs> But then they try to portray us mm. as those that are trying to force people to change. We're not trying to force nobody to change. We have an opportunity to believe. If they want to believe in Christ, awesome. If not, mm. that's you. Thank you Lord. Don't lump us up with the group that is out there trying to force people to serve their God. Amen. That's not us. Amen. And there's no evidence to that point. Amen. Hello. Amen. Tonight we're going to deal with a topic that is very needful right now. Because there are a lot of prophecies that have been made. And a lot of prophets right now are having to backtrack. <laughs> Amen. And, and try to fix what they say. Yeah. Something. <laughs> I am praying for them. Amen. That God will help them. Because this is a real trying time for them. Mm -hmm. But they cannot understand what just happened. Mm -hmm. Because they don't understand end time prophecy. That's it. Mm -hmm. They don't understand what the scripture is saying. With all my heart, I wish that I was wrong. I wish that I did not see what I saw in the early days of my youth in God. Right. Not the old man. The old man gone for all those don't understand what I'm talking about. You're looking at my flesh, you don't know me. You got to look in my flesh to see the spirit man. When he came into this world, the Father revealed to him things that were going to take place. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing it unfold right in front of my eyes. My natural eyes. Are you afraid, Pastor? Not in the least of the I'm trying not to be overjoyed. Right. Because there's so many people suffering. Amen. So many people going through. So many people having hardships. I don't consider myself as being privileged. But I do consider myself having been one that heard the voice of God and sought his face. And there's a big difference between people that hear him and don't seek him. Amen. One of the things that I've always uh, remember and, and put forth is that Jesus didn't just say, come unto me all you that labor heavily, mm -hmm. and I'll give you rest. That was the end of the discourse. Yep. The next thing he said, take my yoke upon you mm -hmm. and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Everyone heard to come unto me mm -hmm. and I'll give you rest. Mm -hmm. But they missed that, take my yoke upon you. you and learn of me. So they come to church, they come to the house of worship and go through the motion, but they never learn of him. Mm. The scripture was given, a four, written a four times for our learning. Romans 15 and 4. You want to, you don't argue with me, because you argue with God. <laughs> for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Might have, what's, what, what, what's hope for? Hebrews 11 and 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hello? Mm -hmm. Then Ephesians 2 and 8 says, when we are saved, 
by grace through faith. In Romans 8, and I think around the 21st verse, uh, for a man, if, if a man is saved through hope, mm. why does he get wait for it? <laughs> what we have done is to assume mm. that we are saved just because we came into the house of faith. God, I need the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But Jesus himself said, seven times is under him mm -hmm. that overcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're saved from our old life. But if we don't continue in this way, we're going to be lost. Amen. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. He said, what a man sees. That's what that verse says. Why did he get hope for it? Mm -hmm. For if we hope for that which we see not, mm -hmm. then do we with patience. Wait for it. Now let's go over to Mark the 13th chapter and get started today. I want to deal with this issue because there have been a lot of things being said, and, and I want to talk about the truth in time time. Amen. Now, a lot of things had to take place before we came here. Amen. Amen. Right. I didn't want to get into a whole lot of things about Israel. The descendants of the Hebrew people that are descendants of Abraham. But there's a history of them in the world. And there's a history of them in the world that they had lost their homeland and were scattered. And many of them did not leave that area, but the majority of them did, and they were scattered throughout the whole world. Many of them went, went into the northern countries. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. And many of them during the migration to the North American continent made their way here. They became a great part of the United States of America. Many of the bankers and, and the industry people have ancestry with the Israelites or the Hebrew people. And I think we have one of the largest uh, Israelite or uh, Jewish populations in the world. What they were actually saying back in the 1800s that the United States was the new Jerusalem, the new Israel. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So they had actually believed that God had, had, had restored them by bringing them to the North American continent to the United States of America. Amen. And now many of them don't want to leave. Amen. They don't want to go back to their homeland, but it prophesied by the prophets, the major prophets and the minor prophets, that in the latter day that God would restore his people to their land. Amen. Amen. Now some there's an argument, there's a discussion going on in many places that they are not the real Israelites. Mm -hmm. Well, you got black Afro, black Americans calling themselves Afro-Americans. Mm -hmm. Well, the native born of Af I don't even like to say that word because Amen. the continent was not called Africa. Thank you. It's called Africa after Africanus, a Roman general conquered Africa and took it over. Then they named it after him, but that was not what it was called. Right. So if you want to say that African continent, <laughs> the African that natively born on that continent, they don't own us mm -hmm. that was native born in America. Thank you. Because they understand that we are not of Amen. that continent. Amen. We are the only people in the world that want to try to reach back to another continent and claim, mm -hmm. even after we've been born here, and claim that as our homeland. Mm -hmm. Dang. That's not your motherland. You were born here. Amen. Thank you. Divided instead of recognizing that we, everyone that was born on this continent, they are native Americans. Americans. Well, our ancestors, what ancestors? Which one are you talking about? 100 years ago? 200 years ago? 300 years ago? How far you go more back? So if you want to go all the way back to the beginning, all of us came from that continent called Everybody. Africa. Lord. Every last one of us. Thank you. The earth in it was the earthquake that divided the continents. In the beginning, there was only one continent, and the major part of it is still there called the African continent. Hallelujah. God needs to save some of us. We in poor bit preaching and teaching and don't know the truth. Mm -hmm. No. No, we 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 need to realize and come to the realization that they could be. Actual descendants 
of the 12 tribes of Israel. We have someone in power. Yes. Calling no names, but I don't want no <laughs> scrutiny to fall upon. That they be in a trade back to Israel. Mm -hmm. I could be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I haven't done a test like that to see how far my DNA goes. But my biological, the physical body, this old man, biological parents were born, their parents and their parents was born on the continent of North America Amen. in the nation called the United States. Amen. Amen. So I am a native born by three generations or four generations. How old is America? Amen. Amen. America. Amen. North America. But it is amazing me how people get into these foolish things over hatred, mm -hmm. bigotry, mm -hmm. and prejudice. Yes. We're all different. Thank you. We all do. Mm -hmm. What they got to do with you about talking about? I'm going to tell you a minute. If you understand what I said earlier, that God said in the latter days, mm -hmm. in the latter days, Amen. in the latter days, he will restore his people to their homeland. Mm -hmm. Israel, since 19 May 14, 1948, mm -hmm. recognized by the League of Nations, which is now the United Nations, as an independent state, mm -hmm. a nation again, Amen. a people again. Yeah. And they have all begun to learn their native language, Hebrew. Amen. And God said that they will never be removed after they would resettle in the latter day again. Thank you, Lord. Now, he didn't say they wouldn't be persecuted. Mm -hmm. He didn't say they wouldn't be attacked. Mm -hmm. He didn't say they wouldn't be hated. But he said he would never allow them to be removed again. Amen. And in 1967, the northern countries came against Israel mm -hmm. to destroy the little people, about three million people, <laughs> to wipe them out. And in a six-day war, which you don't hear about in our school systems, no. which is not taught in our history books, uh -huh. in a six-day war, they defeated major nations. I won't say their name because I might have to fight some terrorists, but the major nations mm -hmm. around them. Just look, get the map and look at the major nations Thank around you. them and you know who they are. Uh -huh. If I had the map it's back there on the table, I'd bring it up here, but you probably couldn't see it those ways watching my face. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they defeated them in a six-day cold war and took back surrounding land, Golden Heights and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, how did the world did they, those other people get the Golden Heights? Because you know who sat down, the United States president said, and every single time they forced them to give up land, our nation suffered giant right. panic, cataclysmic, natural disasters. Right. Every single time. Oh, Why? Because right. any time you touch Israel, you touch the apple of God's eye. Thank you. Amen. He said to Abraham, I'll bless those that bless you, and I will curse those that curse you. It is a dangerous thing to mess with those descendants of Abraham. Amen. For God's a respect of a person. He called Abraham friend. Did he call you one? Three. <laughs> well, let's get into the 13th chapter of the book of Mark. That's all to get you settled that we are in the last days. Amen. 1967, they took Jerusalem back. Yeah. It was no longer trodden down by Gentiles. Amen. Hello, somebody. Great. We're living in a final holy moment of the last days. Mm -hmm. I want to start at the 14th verse from the Holy Man. I'm going to start at 10th verse. Jesus said, the gospel must first be preached among all nations. Now, I'm a firm believer. He said all nations. He didn't say every individual. Amen. Pray for somebody that they might be delivered out of the yoke. Mm -hmm. He said it must be preached to all nations, not all individuals. Amen. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ has been preached to every nation mm -hmm. on the face of this earth. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It has been preached. Somebody said, What's the problem? Why didn't Jesus come back yet? Because that is not the end time sign. No, thank you. But we have been told that 
for so long because they took one gospel and preached it. Mm -hmm. So we have believed that for so long. So they said we're waiting on the gospel to preach throughout. No, we're waiting on the time. Mm -hmm. In the fifth chapter of the book of Mark, the demon said to Jesus, have you come to torment us before the time? Yes, no, God's not waiting on the gospel to reach the last individual on the face of the earth. That's not biblical. Thank you. He's waiting on a time. Hallelujah. He promised a time mm. to Adam. Thank Adam you. had a lease on this planet. We're not going to teach you on that tonight. It's in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. It's in the right. scriptures. Adam had a lease on this planet. The lease is not up yet. Adam subleased it out to who know you know and I know who. Belial, the one we call Satan. And that lease is not up yet, but when that lease is up, the owner is coming back Lord. to take this to take possession. Mm -hmm. And when he comes back to take possession, and I will say this at this point right now, because they're not going to be so strong about the explosion. I saw in an open vision standing in this pulpit the armies of heaven with the Lord of hosts in front of him on his horse. With it raised up in the air, and I knew what that meant. Mm. He's almost got his marching order to come. And that just happened this year. Not this, this latter part of last year. I saw it. So I know we are close. We are so close. Amen. The other day I was sitting and I felt the dread of God. Y'all don't know what y'all know what that means. I felt the dread that most of them must have felt when God came down on my side. Mm. Can you imagine that? Mm. The awesome God. The dread and notable God came down on earth and rested on a mountain. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and, and Moses said he exceedingly feared and quaked. Yeah. I guess so, I did too. Oh, thank you. But look, I was trembling mm. because of the presence I sensed. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't afraid. Mm -hmm. But my body, my flesh, was not worthy to be in that kind of presence. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't take it. Don't believe you don't want to. That's your, that's your problem. <laughs> so listen to what they said. The number says, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up and take, take no thought, he said, beforehand when you shall speak. Neither do you pre premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. But it's not you that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son. And children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Mm -hmm. Many of you heard me read from the uh, Voice of Martyrs magazine a few minutes ago mm -hmm. and share with you how these children were afraid and many of them were afraid because they would be betrayed and these, you know, the other, other faith <laughs> would kill them. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. And I would read to you, and I gave out some pamphlets tonight to some of those that are here to let them read about the persecution. The one that I read from is about what's going on in India. Mm -hmm. There are things going on in Nigeria. There are things going on in Turkey right now yeah. where there is a, F, well, a Christian cleansing mm -hmm. in Turkey right now. That they are finding people that are Christian and getting them out of their country. Mm -hmm. If they were Christians, and they had a visa to come live there and stay there. Once they go back out the country to renew their visa, mm -hmm. they're not letting them back. They're stamping their visa and they cannot come back and see it. And I've said this before and I'm going to say it now. If there's nothing to Jesus of Nazareth, what's the problem? Amen. They are so afraid of this man. I'm going to fall out. That they want to stop any mention of him. Mm -hmm. They don't want him talked about. They don't want him they don't even want you there because you represent him if you are born again believer. Yeah. They don't care if you tell it anybody else. But because you say you are a Christian, they don't even want you in their country. That's not them. That's Belial That's in them. that has his agents in them. Because mm -hmm. they are afraid. And when they, uh, you, you come to torment us before the time, yes. they are afraid. Thank you. Of being tormented. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of being cast out. Mm -hmm. That's why they want Jesus away from them. Amen. But he said, whatever you do to the least of my little ones, mm -hmm. you do unto me. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because they don't understand we are spirit of his spirit. Mm -hmm. They do, but most church folk don't. Mm -hmm. We are spirit of his spirit, bone of his bone, and flesh of his flesh. Wherever his people are, he's there. Amen. And they feel like the only way that they can further the devil, the demons and those people, the only way they can further their agenda by sub to subjugate man. Because they hate man. Mm -hmm. Satan and demons hate men. Yeah. You know why? Because they got cast out. Mm -hmm. And they can never go back. Amen. Hey. Amen. Hey. Yeah. They, said they, they believe in God and tremble yeah. because there's no way they can repent. They cannot change. Thank it's you. over for them. Yeah, they know. Yeah. Only man can repent Amen. and be born again. Mm. Spirits can. Amen. They are lost forever. Those angels, those fallen angels that got kicked out of heaven, they lost forever. Mm. Then Jesus made this statement, and this is for all you that are listening now that are religious, yeah. that want to be accepted. 13 verse says, and you shall be hated by some men. Oh. All men. When people stand up, now this is what I'm saying now, they ain't hating everyone that calls themselves Christian because they're not standing for Jesus. Thank you. Remember he said they should be hated for my name's sake. My name. Amen. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. Christ is not his name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The word Christ is anointed one. The word Christ is Messiah. It is sent one. His name is Yeshua. His name is Jesus. Lord. So if you want to make reference to the, the identical Jesus, say Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you. But if you want the devil to really know what you're talking about, Yeshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Yeshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 And you know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. But the one that shall endure unto the end. What did he say? The same yeah, shall be saved. saved. Who gonna be saved? Endure to the end. Endure to the end. They gonna hate us. Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. Look at them. They gonna hate you. They gonna hate you. Look at them. They gonna hate you. Why, Pastor? For well, His name said. Paul said, "They that live God in Christ Jesus shall what? Suffer, Suffer persecution." If you ain't ready for persecution, you might as well go ahead and get out of church right now. And I ain't talking about the building. I'm talking about the body of Christ. Amen. You might as well go ahead and recant and go ahead and confess whatever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because it's here. Amen. That's right. It's, it's here. It's it already funny. started. It's funny. They used the pandemic to shut down churches from California to the East Coast. Amen. But had liquor stores open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And y'all hear me. Right. Had grocery stores open. Mm -hmm. Man is not just a physical being. Amen. Man is a spirit that possesses a soul and lives in a body. But they just want to keep things that were necessary for the physical man and then find out that the suicide rate went up. Amen. Violence, home, domestic violence went up. Amen. Because there was nothing feeding these people's soul. Amen. I got an article that's going to be out in the newsletter and it's dealing with the necessity of fellowship, camaraderie, friendship, that's right. partnership. Amen. Communion. Thank you, Lord. Community. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Hello. Mm -hmm. It's not good for man to be alone. Amen. Man cannot survive alone. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. So when you get a chance, it will be on the web page. HTTPS post backslash backslash www spirit love and deliverance dot com. Amen. Amen. We need to wake up, saying The devil ain't going to win. Thank you. He know exactly how to weaken you. Mm -hmm. He know exactly how to break down your willpower to the point where he can get you to do whatever he wants you to do. Anything that just to be able to be back among the people. Do you realize how the reports are coming out now worldwide? How dangerous this vaccine is? Do you realize it? If you don't realize it, somebody better tell you and wake you up. Amen. It is coming out worldwide that this thing is very dangerous and people are dying from it. People are being crippled by it. And it ain't taking no two, three, four, five days and no week. No. Some of it is happening immediately. Right. Thank you. So I, I encourage you to think twice. Amen. 
Man, three times. Four times. Five times. Get on your knees and pray. And wait on God to tell you. That's right. There was a doctor that went before the Senate in August. That went before the Senate in December. Mm -hmm. And told them that they already have a cure. That has no side effects. Mm -hmm. Tested it in 300 hospital workers. 100 of them got the, got the medicine that they had. 200 of them didn't get it. But they didn't know it. 100 of them tested negative after having worked with multiple COVID patients. Out of the 200, 53% of them got COVID. Proving that what they were offering not only would keep you from getting it, Thanks. but if once a person got it, they got it in the earlier stages, they would not die from a suffer severe symptoms. Amen. I would call his name, but I might get locked up. You cannot get it without a prescription anyway. But the thing is, the federal government have known since August, after this doctor and his team are working coast to coast and around the world with COVID patients, from March to August, when they came up with a conclusion, he went before the Senate and told them they had a cure. It was rejected. If you think it's all about saving you from the COVID, hmm. Pastor Clawson is warning you now. Thank you. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Amen. They have separated you, boxed you up in homes to weaken your willpower so you'll do whatever they tell you to do. Yes. So you can be able to go back Preach. out there and do what you've been doing. Preach. And you are bowing down to the beast. That's right. Amen. Yeah, I said yeah, the beast. Amen. Let me move on. Bow down. And you shall be hated of all men. I know it. For the fourth chapter of Matthew. Mm -hmm. And you shall be hated of all men. I know it. They've been hating me for a long time anyway. It's not new. Thank you. Thank you. People that want to know the truth, sin and saint love me. But people that hate the truth, they can't stand me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seventh verse of the 24th chapter of Matthew said, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in dire places. Most people have taught for years that these were the end time signs. We've been having earthquakes, Thank you. famines, and pestilence <laughs> since man propagated earth. Amen. Populated earth. This is nothing new. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Please go back hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of years. This is nothing new. Amen. Are you here? So that is not the end time sign. So he said, all these are the beginning of what saw. Now, my spin on this, that's causing now. My spin, I, and I know the voice of God and I have the Holy Ghost. When you see these things happening everywhere, right. that's when you know it's end time. Mm -hmm. Not when it's happening in some places and you know, here not having enough. When it's happening all over the world, you know there's something going on. Right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all there was a shaking coming. Mm -hmm. And it's been shaking ever since the election. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. There's been a shaking in the earth. Earthquake. Amen. And there have been a shaking in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Demons are trembling. Mm -hmm. They scared for what I don't know, but they're afraid of something. Hello. You remember, you remember the scripture said that woe be unto the half of the earth? Yeah. But Satan had come down among me, mm -hmm. knowing that he had but a short time. I think that's why he's tripping. Amen. I think that's why he's afraid. He knows he has a short time. Right. Oh, really? I mean, you talk like you know what you know, and I talk the Bible saying so that's why. Mm -hmm. You believe that book? Yeah, it works. Everything about the Bible works. God done proved this to me. Don't think, I'm trying to think. I've seen things change. I've seen things that work them out of this. I've been translated. I've been to heaven. And I think, what is that experience? I guess I ain't going to worry. I hadn't tried it. I, that's tempting God. Amen. But but I'm telling you, I just happened one day, the Lord told me to go take a cruise. And the ship go down, I'm walking. Amen. But I can't swim a stroke. Can't flu. 
Can't dog pedal. Can't do none of that stuff. But I will walk. Amen. Amen. Well, what about the rest of the people? If the Lord don't tell me to grab somebody, I'm not grabbing. Amen. I'm gonna take a stroll and head on back to shore. Amen. Amen. You believe you? I, I'm telling you, the things that God has done through me, the things God has done for me and with me, are beyond imagination. I've never doubted that He would enable me to walk on water. Amen. Why would I doubt now? Amen. It's in the book. Peter walked it. What thing? <laughs> and guess what? At that time, Peter wasn't spirit of his spirit, born of born of flesh of his flesh. He was believing unto. I'm spirit of Jesus' spirit, born of born of flesh of his flesh. I say Jesus walked. <laughs> Woo, glory. Thank you. Now watch this. The next verse says, they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my what? Name. There it is again. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the end time sign you say, Pastor, that will be the final end time sign? The church and the, and the Israelite, the Jewish people will be hated of all people. Mm -hmm. They will despise us Hello, with a madness. Yeah, that's it. With a madness. I'm not talking about these here go along to get along. The, you oh, know, no, they folk. Be, no, they 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 they, they, they have the jellyfish back folk, folk go, that bound man. down to the beast. Mm -hmm. What you call the beast? The system. Mm -hmm. The Babylonian system that had taken over the world. The bow down to the debt system. Mm -hmm. The bow down to these bankers. Mm -hmm. I better lose. <laughs> Y'all forgot the doctor kid. <laughs> Amen. But that's what it is. Amen. They want to control the whole world. Mm -hmm. They want an elite class and a working class. Mm -hmm. Hello, that's what they want. That's what they're trying to create. That's, that's what it. they're trying to form. That's what they're trying to, and it's here. Amen. You got people call themselves ministers of the gospel and they're justifying the killing of unborn babies. Yeah. They're justifying same sex marriage. Yeah. They're justifying an individual that is a male having transformation surgery mm -hmm. to become a woman. That's mutilation. Amen. Hello. Thank you. I would tell you what the Bible calls it, but I might get in trouble. Abomination. Amen. 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 Thank you. So then he said, and then shall many be offended. Did y'all see this? Mm -hmm. He said, you'll be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? Yeah. And shall mm -hmm. hate mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going somewhere. I want y'all to understand. Because with it, the same thing that do shall be saved. We talked about that in Mark. I'm going here in Matthew. Right. And many false prophets shall rise and shall what? To see you, you think these preachers will come and tell you they're false prophets? No. 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 So I ain't the correct. Brother, no. I'm a known. <laughs> Father, brother, sister, you really friend, neighbor, you really think they will come and say? I, I'm a false messenger. I'm a false prophet. I'm a false <laughs> apostle. I'm a false prophet. I'm a false. Pastor, I'm a false evangelist. I'm a false teacher. You really think they're going to come tell you that? No, no. Well, how do you know when they fall? Because they do not speak the words of God. Amen. Right. Amen. He said they will work signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Yeah. Mm. They will work signs and wonders. They don't speak the word of God. How do you? Because he said many will come in my name in that day. Mm. And say, have we, not cast, have we not preached in your name, prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not done mighty works in your name? He said, go say to them, they probably need words of me. I never, never. You know what never means? They never had a relationship with me. Amen. I never knew. Never. So don't be thinking that just call, just call people to say that they come into Jesus. No, they don't speak the words of Christ. Because he said, you'd be ashamed of me and my words. I won't be ashamed of you. So they're not speaking the words of Christ, they ain't none of his. Amen. That's how you know. When they belittle the scripture, mm -hmm. when they belittle the word of God, when Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass before one job until the law will fail. He that come and teaches you not to keep the law at least in the kingdom of heaven, yeah. but he that teaches you to keep the law at greater in the kingdom of heaven, and you will listen to them knuckleheads. Mm -hmm. You better watch yourself. You now won't be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Watch this. And because of iniquity, if you look that word up, and it would be lawlessness. lawlessness. What is sin? First John, third chapter, mm -hmm. the fourth verse. Mm -hmm. Sin is a transgression against God's law. Mm -hmm. So he's not talking about lawlessness in the sense they break the speed law. No. He's talking about lawlessness in the sense they break it. They're not keeping mm -hmm. God's commandments. Mm -hmm. You know why they're not keeping God's commandments in the church world? 
But they don't know. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. They don't know. Amen. They don't even know you're not supposed to let someone that practices sin be in the pulpit. Right. They don't know you're not supposed to let somebody that practice sin sing on the choir. Right. Yeah. They don't know that you're not supposed to have somebody practice sin that's sitting on the deacon board or the trustee yeah. board or the school board. Yeah. They don't not supposed to have an official position in the church in any way, matter, shape, or form. Yeah. Don't you understand that? He said, oh, shot. He said, have no social relationship with them that practice those things. Yeah. I don't yeah. call them out, but you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Lie, fornicate, backbiters, tell brothers, mm -hmm. haters of the brothers. Thank you. I'll say the Lord. <laughs> But they put them on the board. Put them on the board. Mm -hmm. Boom. They let them preach that. Let them prophesy. Mm -hmm. Lay hands and not in their church. Amen. Thank you. Not long after watching them on the wall. If you ain't right, <laughs> they ain't happy. Amen. No, 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 no. Who do you think you are? A sent one. Amen. Amen. Sent by who? You figure it out. So he said, because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many. Shall whack. Well, you ain't loving. The book said in Paul and Proverbs 27, chapter 5, verse, open rebuke. Yeah. It's better than seek your love. Mm -hmm. When Jude talked about it, he said that a man, I'm going to go read that right quick. Mm -hmm. Somebody, you love your brother. Mm -hmm. You will let him stay in sin. That ain't what Jude said. No, no, no. Jude, Jude, Jude said, oh, not the 23 verse said, and others say with fear, pulling them out. Of the fire, yeah. hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? Uh -huh. Is that what he said? Yeah. Pulling them out of the fire. Pulling them out. He ain't telling me to leave you in the fire. He's going to pull you out. Amen. 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 And then John said again, and I think the first first epistle of John. John said that he that went for a brother mm -hmm. saved a brother from hell. Yeah. So am I my brother's keeper? I ain't king. Mm -hmm. Yes. If they don't want to hear me, praise them. If they don't want to hear me, praise them. Amen. That's between them and God then, but I will sure tell you the truth. Amen. And do everything in my power to pull you out of the flame. Because mm -hmm. hell is real. Thank you. How you know, been there? Heaven is real. How you know, been there? Mm -hmm. Jesus is real. How you know, because I saw him. Walk with him, talk with him, spend some time with him. Thank you, Lord. He's a real person. Amen. How you know the Holy Ghost is real? Seen him too. Been empowered by him, been equipped All by right. him. Been whipped by him. <laughs> Which is not a good feeling. Mm -hmm. So he said, the love of men would wax cold because iniquity shall abound. Is that right? Amen. So we're not talking about that kind of love that the world talking about. Mm -hmm. That fleshly love. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the kind of love that love all ways. Mm -hmm. The kind of love that will snatch you. The kind of love the Bible said that God chastened they of those. He chastened those. Oh. Brother child of Hebrews, he chastened those whom he loved. Oh. The kind that he said, if, if anyone be without chastisement, they are illegitimate children. They are none of his. Amen. So if you get away with it and everything, and God not punishing you, mm -hmm. you ain't his. Mm -hmm. You know, some people actually got the nerve to think that when they're being punished, God trying to teach them something. <laughs> God ain't trying to teach you nothing. You're getting beat because you did wrong. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit guides us in all truth. The Holy Spirit teaches of all things. The Holy Spirit brings out remember the things that Jesus spoke. The Holy Spirit takes up uh, God and reveal it unto us. Mm -hmm. Then according to the epistle, the first epistle of John, the second chapter and the 20th verse, you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. When some verse said, but the anointing that abideth in you teaches you of all things. But the anointing that abideth in you teaches you of all things. Then according to what is second written in the third chapter and 18th verse, uh, as we behold Jesus looking into a glass, we're changed into that same image from glory to glory as by the Spirit of God. Where did they say anything about Tony? Hello? Being beat. That's not how God changes us. As we behold Jesus, as we learn more and more about Jesus, the Holy Spirit changes us yeah. into that very character. Yes. Into that very character. The where we start having the same nature and character that Christ has. Amen. 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 Why did he come? To destroy the works of the devil. Right. Why did he come? In order to give us sonship. Are mm -hmm. y'all here? Now look at this. Next verse says, And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness of all people, and then shall the end come. Watch this. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. When you therefore shall see the abomination desolation spoken of Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, who shall read it, let him understand. Let them would be in Judea, flee into the mountains. I believe that that is a latter day happening. I believe that it already happened. Mm -hmm. I believe they both have a correlation. Mm -hmm. 
the abomination that was set up in the temple prior to the destruction in 66 and 70 AD. Hello, the Roman mm -hmm. emperor, the, the Roman soldier came down and they put an abomination into the temple mm -hmm. and it was destroyed after that. But I believe that this is referring also to a future event. Amen. When that abomination mm -hmm. is a man, the, the mm -hmm. man of sin, the son of perdition, when he walks into the temple and declares himself to be God, mm -hmm. that's when you better run. Amen. That's when the Antichrist will be revealed who he really is. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Amen. That's what we, when he shall in the 21st verse, said, There shall be great tribulation. It says it was not sent to the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Mm. Amen. Go with me to 17 chapter St. Luke. You still with me? Amen. Amen. Don't leave me. Amen. I'm not talking about the people that, you know, I'm not talking about one scripture. Based on, I'm basing this from the book. Amen. Right. Amen. In kind revelation. 26 verse says, and as it was in the days of Noah, well, let me go back to 24 verse so people understand this. Because everybody thinks the Lord, he, he over there in Jerusalem, no. Uh, he, he's over there in Cap, no. <laughs> but as the lightning that shined out of the one part of the heaven, mm -hmm. shined under the other part of the heaven, 24 verse, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. So when Jesus comes back, everybody will see him. Amen. 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 Like, when that light is shining in the east, you see it. Mm -hmm. When that light is shining in the west, then you see it. So it don't, <laughs> it don't matter where you're going to be at. When Jesus of Nazareth split the cloud, everybody on the earth will see it. So whatever that event will be like, mm -hmm. everyone is going to be able to see it. Amen. Hello, are you listening? Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Amen. 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 So, but he must first, but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Mm -hmm. That's the one that, let's see. Matthew, uh, Luke and Matthew and Luke. So look, and as it was in the days of Noah, mm -hmm. so shall it also, shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Mm -hmm. What were they doing in the days of Noah? Mm -hmm. They were eating, drinking, yeah. married, drinking, yeah. just getting married, living. Mm -hmm. Just living. You have to think about it, right? They were just living, going about their daily life mm -hmm. like nothing was going on. Mm -hmm. Noah was over there building a boat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just like preachers like me wanted to be the last day. All the, sign, all the signs are here. Israel is in her homeland. Israel is in her and all the nations of the earth have gathered against her. Mm. She stands alone, but not really yes. alone. But apparently, to the eye, to the natural eye, Israel is standing alone. She had a captain in America, and they removed him. Yeah. Okay. And that's the process. You know, whoever, whoever had the most influence. Mm. And the greatest bag of tricks. <laughs> and I'm not referring to what they did, I'm talking about the money. Mm. The biggest bag of money. Yeah. Our election can be bought. They got the clock. Amen. Whoever got the money can buy the election. Mm. Hello. Every every time I look around, there was a politician petitioning me for money. Mm. How in the world did I election become about money? Mm. How many ads you can run? Mm. When did it cease to be about the person and their ability to stand as leaders of this great nation right. and to stand upholding constitutional law mm -hmm. and ruling this nation based on the law of the land and not on popular opinion? Mm -hmm. When did it ever become about money, corporations, mm -hmm. the media? Mm -hmm. When we lost interest in participating when the people put their lives in the hands of a handful of people, right. so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's when it became about big money. Mm -hmm. big money. Yes. People vote for folk they don't know nothing about. Nothing. Just because of the hype. Mm -hmm. Let me leave that alone. Because I want to have I'm run out of time. Let's move on. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. So it said, and the flood came. And destroyed and Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. all. Do you really believe that a flood? You, you don't understand. You hadn't done the research. You hadn't studied. They didn't teach you in school. China, Russia, mm -hmm. Britain, many of the major ancient civilizations on the African continent, what we call Africa. Are y'all hearing me? Mm -hmm. Australia, Amen. ancient ruins, 
all over this world, major cultures have a record of a great political, mm -hmm. a great dominance. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Regardless of what faith they have, they got a record of there being a great flu. Mm -hmm. Our Bible record gives us the name. I don't know what their records call the name, some, some of them, but uh, I did know some and I let it slip because I can't pronounce it in their language. But ours is called Noah, mm -hmm. his wives, his wife, uh, his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Their wives. They were the only ones saved from this flood. Eight individuals, eight souls. All the rest of mankind died Amen. in the flood. Drowning. Suffocating in the water. And that was when the rainbow came into existence. After the land, the water receded, and Noah and his family came out of the boat. And Noah offered up a sacrifice that was well pleasing to the Lord. He responded by saying, Never again will I destroy the whole earth. Never again will I destroy the whole earth by a flood. Thank you. Are you here? But when you read Peter, mm -hmm. you find out that it will be destroyed by fire. Amen. Are you here? Somebody said, Well, the earth going to do it for heaven, not based on the Bible. I don't know where they got that from. The Bible actually says that one of the prophets shall reel to and fro and be flung down. Mm -hmm. The earth is not going to be here forever. But it actually says in the book of Revelation that this earth will pass away. Amen. Amen. And it will be a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. Amen. So they misunderstood what he said it would abide forever. They weren't talking about at this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a seed that plant and give birth to a new earth. Mm -hmm. Let me go on that so much. There's so much in the Bible. There's so much in the Bible. Sure, it's so much in the Word of God, I'm telling you. And that's why I call it the book of life. Mm -hmm. When you get the word of God, your eyes come open. Yes, you Lord. understand almost everything. Yeah. It's a lamp of our feet and a light of our face. They give an understanding to the soul. Yes, Let me read on. Mm -hmm. So likewise, shall it also as it was in the days of Lot. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. You know how wicked it was in Lot's day? Yeah. If you study the history of Sodom, they were so wicked that that if you was a good person, mm -hmm. you ended up in jail. Mm -hmm. They were so wicked that if anyone did good for somebody else, they would kill him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can help people. If you help mm -hmm. people there, the city, the officials of the city will kill you. <laughs> what you mean? There are people in, in, the, in the Catholic faith know exactly what I'm talking about. In this country, yeah. trying to help people, and the government came down with the full force of city codes mm -hmm. to stop them. Mm -hmm. If they ain't coming close to Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. they feeding, they sheltering, they housing people that would normally be out on the street, yeah. pillaging, robbing, stealing, mm -hmm. giving a place a warm bed and food to eat. Yeah. So they at least have a feel some decency about themselves. Hello. Then the city come in and say, oh, that ain't cold. Yeah. This ain't cold. That ain't cold. Oh. But we're going to shut you down. Now, for all these years. Amen. Why? Because somebody rose up that hated the church, that hated Jesus of Nazareth, mm -hmm. and want to shut them down because that's what they represent. Mm -hmm. You will always have the Pope with you. Amen. And he said, God, God, the creator, the maker of all things, remember the Pope. And a person that forget the Pope, God said he would forget. Amen. 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 Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I'll let that come out of my mouth and what happened to somebody. You gotta, gotta be careful what I said. Amen. Amen. But God said that. But we gotta be very mindful to remember the poor. Amen. 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 He that has pity for the poor, lends unto the Lord. Lord. And that which he has given shall he receive again. And they'll be, and they'll be the first one pushing. Let's send some money over there to offer the now. And you got people living on the street right here. Right, right. They'll be the first one for the lobbying senators mm -hmm. to put the Palestinians in the bill to send money to folk that's Preach. raising up terrorists to kill other people. Preach. Be the first ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you know this? Because I'm all over the world at the same time. 
I see in Jehovah a lot of things. I just don't talk about a lot. Amen. Sometimes I talk about it, people get scared, wonder how I know. I don't know, he knows. Thank you. And he shared with me and give me the permission to say it. I say it. If he don't, I won't say it. Now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. This is so powerful saying. He said, but after one of the days the lot went out of Sodom, it rained what? Not water. Fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Fire and brimstone came out of the heavens. Hello? And destroyed that whole plane. And all the other, that wasn't just Sodom, there was Sodom and Gomorrah, and there's another smaller business in the plane that yeah. were destroyed too. That's right. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. And that whole area now that they have discovered is up under water, and they find out it's salt. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I could find find brimstone turn something into salt. I don't know. Mm -hmm. something, something happened. It couldn't be natural. Heat. Yeah, Somebody yeah. said, yeah, heat. Say it couldn't be natural. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it said the same day that Lot went out of Solomon, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven. What are they trying to tell us? That once you kick all us Christians out, y'all ain't got nothing there. It's over. The part, you better hold on to us as long as you can hold on to us. <laughs> you better keep us around as long as you can keep us. Because the only thing keeping absolute judgment from coming down on all the nations on the face of this earth is the Christian believers that are in these nations. Amen. Because once all of us are taken out, it's going to be rocking and a rolling and a shaking. It's going to be an earth twist. And once this earth twists, it's going to be tribulation like they have not known. Amen. None of, nobody's allowed on the face of the earth that have seen this. Thank you. I don't want to be on it. Thank you. I'm praying to be one of them kind of the worst yes, to escape. Amen. I want to get out of here. Amen. Don't y'all want to get out of here? Amen. I do not want to be on this planet. Oh, it's called the twist. Back here some time ago, I can't remember exact year, but at the time that it happened, I told everybody it was happening. Then people saw how my climate changed. It ain't no climate change. Nope. The earth shifted. Thank you. I'll be back. Hear what I'm telling you. It is a known fact. They had to change true north. Because it was no longer true north. Mm -hmm. The earth shifted on its axis. Mm -hmm. When that happened, the earth began to wobble. Mm -hmm. When the earth began to wobble, that threw the gravitational pull out of whack, the electromagnetic field out of whack. That's why we got all these different disturbances going on all over the world. That is almost a polar shift about to happen. Amen. All right, what happened, Pastor? I don't know. I have a revelation one time, those things. I don't know where it came from God or just a natural premonition. In the vision, they were mining the earth. And they were taking stuff out of the earth and shifting it elsewhere. And when they did this, the older guy stood up and said, if you keep doing this, you're going to throw the earth off its axis. Mm -hmm. And you're going to cause a gigantic cataclysm to happen to the whole world. Mm -hmm. The young people would listen. So they kept mining. And all of a sudden, the earth went into a great tribulation. I came out of it wondering what the world I was looking at because I had no clue. But now I know. Greed done this. Yeah. Right. Taking material from one side of the planet and haul it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. If you got something spinning and you put something too heavy on one side of it, what happens? Okay. If it's able to keep turning, it's going to be wobbling. So if you want to know why we're having all the crime in the climate, I just told you. Stop listening to this false science of science falsely so-called. Hello. Let me move on. That's how you know God. He knows everything. Amen. He sits high and he looks low. Thank you. He took me out and sit me on whatever it is that this earth, I don't know what, I was sitting out from space looking at the earth, watching how it worked. Almost, a, almost what they call the Enoch experience. What make you think I'm not? <laughs> Let's read on. I gotta let you go. Let's read on. So even thus shall it be, 31st, in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Did y'all see this? Yeah. We are here. I can't finish. I'm not gonna trouble your time, but most people attention span is no more than about 15 minutes anyway. <laughs> I have a whole lot, man. I'll finish it Sunday, Lord, when you my life. But we need to wake up and realize this is it. Amen. We're talking about the character of God around me, of the people of the end time, mm -hmm. Sunday, and tying into some things. 
Yes. But it's time to wake up. That's right. It's time to do like Luke said, watch and pray. Thank you. That we may be accounted yeah. worthy to escape what the wrath of God that's coming. See, we've seen a whole lot of job against in this earth, but we haven't seen the wrath of God. No, it's an imagine. All the work is the, it's the work of God. Mm. No, you you ain't seen God get angry. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. We have no clue of the magnitude of this being mm. and what he can do. I was saying one time, and I was saying to people in here, I said, God can take the breath out your body. Y'all see what that plague been doing? What did that plague been doing? Amen. Taking the breath out of people's body. Amen. They trying to breathe and can't breathe. Amen. The magnitude, we don't even, I mean, you can't comprehend this being. Jesus said he's greater than all. That's right. If you give him a size, the Bible said, the book said the heavens of heaven cannot hold him. I'm not talking about Jesus, I'm talking about Daddy's. Amen. The scripture said the heavens of heaven, that's the universe. You know what science says about the universe? It's expanded. Mm -hmm. If an expanded universe cannot contain the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, do you think an army? If every human, how many, 6.7 billion people? If 6.7 billion people arm themselves with, with, with alien weapons and could fly in the air, and go up against Yah, he would laugh. He would laugh. Y'all seen that picture by Santa Claus grabbing his belly and start laughing? Mm -hmm. Well, just imagine the Ancient of Days mm -hmm. standing there looking at them fool coming at him with them weapons, laughing. Mm -hmm. Then you'll see how ludicrous that is. Mm -hmm. Follow these evil men if you want to. Uh -huh. Bow down to their fake agenda. Believe that they're going to be able to bring a utopia on this earth. I'm talking to them elites right now. Believe the lie. That is the lie of to every one of y'all. You're not going to live on forever. You ain't going to rule on this earth forever. Because you're sure the Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth, is coming. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And every knee go back. Thank you, Lord. Willingly or unwillingly. Amen. And they're going to decree and declare that he is Lord. Amen. Mark my words, I've seen it. Amen. They ain't gonna be able to get out of it. It's gonna be a dread and notable day. It's called the day of vengeance. It's called the day of God's wrath. It's called the fire indignation. One place is called Jacob's trouble because right before this happened, Jacob, the tribe of Israel, will be hate, greatly persecuted by the world. But he's gonna come back. Our God, our King. I'll say. Yes, Lord. Hebrews called our big brother. Mm -hmm. Go come back. And he gonna stop it. Oh! Hallelujah! He gonna come back and he gonna stop it. Yes, Lord. He gonna stand one foot on the bottom of the one on the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And the bottom of the will split. split. <laughs> mm. Woo! Our God. Amen. Our King. Amen. Our Lord. Amen. Our Savior. I redeem the awesome and terrible Lord. And dreadful God. Yeah. The Lord of hosts is in vain. Mighty in boundless. Mm -hmm. Father, we're so grateful and thankful. Hallelujah. For the chance to share what you put in my spirit. Thank you for not allowing me to get away from you. I am so grateful. God, for the spirit and guiding me of the reins of my heart. Alpha and Omega, Jesus of Nazareth, our Lord and our Savior. Thank you for never leaving us alone. Yes, Lord. Save us, Lord. Thank you. Save us from this wicked and perverse generation. And as we reach out to encourage others to seek you, let, you, let your words flow through us, speak into their hearts, to bring strong conviction of the reality of what we're speaking about. So they'll turn from their way and turn from their wicked thoughts and bow their knee. And declare before me that you are their Lord, Amen. Jesus of Nazareth. Holy Spirit of the living God, move upon every soul, every person, the sound of my voice, that they not be able to shake this, that it harm them in their dreams, harm them in their daily walk, until they bow their knee if they're not right with you. Saved, prepared to be saved or not saved, that they'll bow their knee and surrender all, that you may be Lord in their life. In your presence.
precious name I pray. Everyone say amen. Amen, amen. amen again. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he give you peace for all your Facebook and YouTube. Thank you for all your contributions and giving. There are some of you that have been so faithful. And you send your tithes and offerings. For some of you, I'm the only force for the word of God other than religious forces. I promise you that Pastor Claus will be dedicated to sharing nothing but the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak on what God said. And I'm speaking in the time that he said. If you are accurate, I'm going to be so, so bold to say that if you've been following some of the messages that God has been giving me, you're up to date. Man. You are very up to date. Mm -hmm. You are not in the dark. You are not caught by surprise. You are very much aware of what was taking place. And may God bless you as you pray to stay right with him. Because the lukewarm ain't gone. Yeah. The lukewarm ain't gone. Mm -hmm. He said he will spew you out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. The lukewarm spirit next to the lukewarm ain't gone. Mm -hmm. So I advise you. Yeah. Catch on fire. Yeah. Fire. 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 That means it's Zagas for your Lord. Yeah. Have you ever been in love with anyone? Be in love with Jesus. Yeah. Stop worrying about this life. Yeah. Stop hoping on this life. Time for that lady. Hope on Jesus. Mm -hmm. We don't die. We are sinners. Mm -hmm. And once he comes back to this earth, he brings us back with him. Amen. With glorified bodies. Mm -hmm. To rule Revelation 5 and 10 and reign with him. Amen. For 1,000 years. Mm -hmm. So it pays to be faithful. Thank you, Lord. But we are in the last, very closing moments of the last days. I have a personal conviction that it cannot go past 2047. 2048. That's my personal conviction that it will end. But the other revelation that I got said that generation will not pass to all be fulfilled. That it could be possible that he's singing before the last person that was born in May of 1948 on the Israeli ground, in the, whatever you call it, Palestine, whatever you call that area, that was born in Israel after they became a nation. Now, this is my personal revelation. Now, they don't go out and talk about that God said this. He said, before that generation passed, my revelation of that is that before that last individual died, whatever length of time they lived, that was born in Israel, mm -hmm. May of 1948. Before they die, Jesus will be back. Amen. I've never heard nobody else say that. Amen. Now, never read it. I just picked it up in my spirit. That that person cannot die until all is fulfilled. So whoever that person is, I have no clue. I'm not going to try to pull no, 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 no records to try to see. <laughs> no census records to try to figure out which one was born. Yellow somebody. Amen. And it might actually be May 14th, 1948, in Israel. Could be, I don't know. Amen. I'm not, but before they die, they could be 150 years old or 200 years old. But before they die, all will be fulfilled. Jesus will have to come back and set up his kingdom on earth. Amen. So we are living in the very last days. So prepare yourself and be ready to meet the Lord. God bless you, Facebook, YouTube. If you desire to continue to support us and keep us able to speak boldly, so you may send an offering in at a dollar sign, LB3921 is our cash app. You can actually send it through PayPal, which is love, period, and period, deliverance at gmail.com. And we will receive it. Hallelujah. And God will bless you 30, 60, and 100 fold over. And I pray for those that are faithful in their giving. That in the name of Jesus of Nava here and by way of social media, a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. A hundredfold. A hundredfold. I don't believe in the lottery. But if God bless you to win, if you play the lottery, you win the lottery, don't forget, brothers and sisters, ministries. Amen. You, go, you wouldn't turn it down if the devil's alive. What? I don't, look, look, watch this, watch this, watch this. I don't know what his money comes from. Amen. I don't know what hand it came through. Amen. Amen. 
So, you know what I'm saying? It could be a drug dealer who had his money in the bank. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't care if my chick. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. Amen. So I'm gonna turn money down because no money is money. Amen. No matter who, no, I'm not gonna receive no no ill gotten money, but money is money. And you get what I do. That's it. That was you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 God will use a donkey. God will use y'all. Hear what I'm saying? To save your life. Mm -hmm. God will use ravens to feed you. Amen. God will use a fish for transportation to get you where you need to be. Amen. So don't tell me how God works because you don't know. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Everyone's smiling. See you next time. Amen.